Hi everyone, in this question we have another quadratic equation problem. Part A, we want to write the expression x squared minus 6x plus 1 in the form x plus a all squared plus b, where a and b are constants. Part B, hence write down the coordinates of the minimum point on the curve y equals x squared minus 6x plus 1. So for question A, we have x squared minus 6x plus 1, and we need to write it in this form x plus a all squared plus b. Notice that the right side is in a completed square form. So we need to complete the square on this left side. The formula for completing the square can be written as x squared plus bx plus b on 2 all squared equals x plus b on 2 all squared. So when we compare our question with the formula, we can see that b equals negative 6. And this last term tells us to divide this by 2, then square it. So let's do that. So negative 6, all squared, the power 2, will give you 9. So what we'll do is add that into our expression. We have x squared minus 6x plus 9. This is our new calculated number. Then we have a plus 1. But because you've added a number to your expression, you need to subtract it. Otherwise, the expression has changed. So when you look at those two expressions, they're exactly the same. So what we can do now is complete the square in this section using the right side. So we can write our completed square form down as x minus 3 all squared and 1 minus 9 is negative 8. So this is your required form. Or the question which is here so in part b we need to write down the minimum point now the minimum point is the vertex which is hk and the standard form for the quadratic can be written as y equals a x minus h all squared plus k so when we compare our standard form to the question we can see that h equals 3 and k will equal this value here. The so k will equal negative 8. So let's write down our expression as y equals x minus 3 all squared minus 8. And our vertex is going to be 3 negative 8. So let's try to graph that. So the vertex is 3 along the x-axis, and negative 8 on the y-axis. Let's take that down further. So that would be the vertex, which is 3, negative 8. If you want your y-intercept, that is this number here, 1. That's 1. So let's sketch our graph. We'll go from the vertex and go up through the y-intercept, which is there, and then we'll go up the other side like that. So we can see from the graph that the minimum point is going to be 3, negative 8. And that's the answer for part B. Thanks for watching.